Welcome back. On the bench today, we have a Ramsey COM3 communication service monitor. Uh, this one does have some issues. So uh, let's go ahead and power it on and uh, we'll talk about what's going on here. So we're in generate mode. And the first thing you'll notice is it has noisy controls, which is pretty standard for everything we've worked on so far. Uh, we also have an issue with uh, this seven segment display. Uh, either the display is bad or something's wrong with the wiring to the display. And then also, uh, I've had this monitor for quite a while. Um, it's been on a shelf for quite a while. There was a loose screw inside of one of the shielded RF cans, and uh, I believe it may have shorted a transistor out. I'm not sure. Um, so we're going to get into it and figure out what's going on there. So first of all, let's go ahead and open it up, and uh, I'll show you what's inside. So we're going to go ahead and turn it off. And we'll unplug it, of course. I've already removed the screws from the lid. So we'll take those off. You need to, uh, once you get the lid off, go ahead and unhook the speaker. So, after that, what I uh, typically like to do is uh, to get some photos. But of course, uh, we're using my camera right now to... Uh, video this. So we'll use the uh, phone on my camera, or the camera on my phone as the case may be. Just a second here. So what I want to do is uh, get a picture of where the speaker was hooked up, and then everything that's attached to the front panel because we're going to end up taking the uh, front panel off. We'll probably end up separating the circuit board from the front panel as well, so we need to get a picture of those connections. All right, very good. So let me go ahead and tilt it up, and I'll show you what's inside the unit here. I'll go ahead and bring up my lighting. So we have the front panel circuit board and the actual front panel itself. These flexes connect to the membrane keypad and then the uh, front panel itself connects to the main circuit board via this lead this lead these two ribbons and there's a coax down here with a B and C so uh, the issue that I was speaking about that this unit has where there was a loose trend a, a loose uh, screw is inside this RF can and uh, at the time when I got this unit, I didn't have the tools to be able to remove the, the lid, so I cut a hole in the can. Got the screw out, put it back into the hole it goes into, got everything fastened back down, but I'm worried that it shorted something out and that my uh, level measurements are not correct. So we're going to be working on that. And then also, uh, I'd like to put a new battery in here. Uh, when I got it, the battery had been leaking, and so I removed it. Uh, but I'd like to be able to use this as a battery-powered instrument. So, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to remove the front panel. Let's see here. This came out easy enough. There we go. Alright, to get that B and C, I'm going to have to take the front panel loose first. that up in a minute. It just rolled off. Come 
and that one went rolling as well. Alright, let's go ahead and turn that light off. Disconnect the signal generator. And there's one additional RCA line here. All right. So that is our uh, front panel. There's our noisy control. There's our bank of seven segment displays. And this one is the one that's not working correctly. So let's go ahead and see what we're going to have to do to take the front panel off. We're going to have to remove the shafts from the controls. We're going to have to unsolder the wires that go to the BNC connections. We have to remove the flexes and that should get everything loose there. Alright. I would imagine we'll probably end up needing to take this board out as well. But that could definitely be an issue. Let's see if we can get our loose screws out of there. Or our loose uh, nuts. There's one. There's the other. Alright, we can set those aside now. Along with the screws from the case. And that puts us in a good position. So, on... Uh, this initial video, this is as far as we're going to go today. Uh, once I do some prep work, we'll get a little bit further into it. We'll see if we can uh, get this thing back to uh, working like it's supposed to. Uh, I have downloaded the uh, service manual, operation manual from Ramsey. So I have that on hand. It should be handy to help us get where we need to be on this. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll be back for the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.